All right, hello guys. In this video, I'm going to cover the ICT Reaper Inverted Fair Value Gap, which is a PD array that he released uh, three days ago um, in the 2023 ICT membership. Uh, many of you are going to be critical of me for even covering this since it's so recent. Um, and so rather than me uh, make up my own opinion about it, I'm literally going to pair it to you exactly what he said in the video, and I'm going to I'm going to orally timestamp it for you. Okay, so the ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap. And from his video, you can hear him say this from minute the 22nd minute or minute 22 up until the 21st minute. Okay, here it is. A Reaper is a fair value gap in a discount of the impulsive price leg of a bullish breaker. Okay, that's a bullish ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap. That is from minute 2022. Uh, you can hear him say that. Okay, so let me explain to you what he means by that. So first off, it's a couple different patterns you need to know. First off, you need to know the ICT bullish breaker, which is an ABC pattern or a high, sorry, a low, a high, a lower low, or point A to point B to point C. Now, when ICT says the impulsive price leg, what does that mean? It's from point A to point B, okay? He says that it's a fair value gap. What is that? We've talked about a fair value gap, right? It's when there's just a candle body offered. This would be a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, right here from, from where my cursor is to where my cursor is. In a discount, so a discount relative to what? So what is a discount? So from leg A to leg B, right, which is that point A to point B, which is that uh, impulsive price leg about which Michael was speaking, um, it has to, the inverted fair value gap, so that buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, must be below the 50% point of the move from point A to point B. So it is an inverted fair value gap. So let's say it's a bullish ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap. It must be from point A to point B below the 50% in order to qualify as a Reaper. Otherwise, it's not a Reaper. It must, be an in, it must be a fair value gap, meaning it must be a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency for the bullish reaper. Now, um, uh, this is going to be one of his strongest, if you see it, uh, I, I personally have not seen these things so much, but if you see this PD array, it's very strong. Okay. And what he's saying is that it's a continuation pattern in the video, meaning that you're expecting price to make a new leg higher. So when price comes back into this old buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, which is part of a ICT bullish breaker, as you can see, point A to point B to point C, when the price trades back to it, uh, it should be a very strong area of support. Okay. Um, there was also an inverted fair value gap up here. So the ICE, again, the ICT bullish reaper inverted fair value gap and i'm quoting from him directly you can't say that i'm mincing his words i'm quoting from him directly a bullish ict inverted fair value gap reaper is a fair value gap in a discount of the impulsive price leg of a bullish breaker that's exactly verbatim what he says so i'm not making this up it's exactly what he says it, the timestamp is 22 minutes so point a to point b to point c See that? And you see how there's a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency in a discount less than 50% of point A to point B. Take that BISI, drag it across, and that is a Reaper inverted fair value gap. Now, I did find an example of a bearish Reaper that price did not trade back into yet. It might in the future. I don't know. The ICT bearish breaker, again, this is verbatim. ICT bearish uh, Reaper inverted fair value gap is a breaker, meaning a bearish breaker, or high, low, higher high, with a fair value gap on the premium side of the impulsive price leg of a bearish breaker. Again, a bearish ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap is a breaker with a fair value gap on the premium side of the impulsive price leg of a bearish breaker. So what do we see here? We have high, low, higher high, confirming that as an ICT uh, bearish breaker. See? High, low, higher high. Therefore, it's, an, it's a bearish breaker. Okay? Now,
do we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency that is above the 50% of point A to point B, meaning the impulsive price leg down? Well, yes, we do. Is it above the 50%, meaning it's in a premium? Yes. Is it a fair value gap? Yes, it's a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Is it in a bearish breaker? Yes, it's a high to a low to a higher high. So, although price never did trade back to it, that would be an example of an ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap. Now, Michael says also the following. The context is that there must be a bias, including a concept which would trap retail traders. So, in his example for his uh, bullish Reaper, he was calling this a, a bull flag. So, the ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap is kind of like an inverted fair value gap on steroids. It's a combination of an ICT bullish or bearish breaker, um, premium and discount, and inverted fair value gap concepts all wrapped up into one, which is why you're not going to see this pattern all the time. But when it is there, it is a Reaper for a good reason. Okay, guys, um, in this video, uh, I taught you how to identify an ICT bullish and bearish Reaper inverted fair value gap. I'm just going to read out his quotes one more time. A bullish ICT inverted fair value gap Reaper is a fair value gap in a discount of the impulsive price leg of a bullish breaker. A bearish ICT Reaper inverted fair value gap is a breaker with a fair value gap on the premium side of the impulsive price leg of an ICT bearish breaker. Remember that the wicks do the damage. That's the reaper's job. The candle bodies tell the story. The context is that there must be a bias. You must be biased to for continuation. It's, it's essentially a continuation pattern. Okay, guys, in this video, I taught you the ICT uh, bullish inverted fair value gap reaper and the ICT bearish inverted fair value gap reaper. And I read to you verbatim exactly what he said in the video, so you can't say I distorted his words somehow. I, I copied his words exactly. And uh, there you go, guys. There is the Reaper inverted fair value gap. Bye-bye.